What's up, Bender family? Uh, today, we've uh, been working on the 6.9 motor this morning a little bit and a little bit last night. We've got an update. Uh, some things that we think we're gonna, people are gonna want to have. Uh, What's up guys? Uh, we've been working on the 6.9. Uh, we got it kind of where we want to go. The direction we're moving, we're going in the right direction, I'll put it that way. Ben's been working on head studs and camshaft and he's got multiple things he's doing and he's made a couple parts today to help him move along. So I'm going to let him talk about what he's done this morning and a little bit last night and then we're going to move on to the GL1000 project for the rest of the day. We've got something we're going to do on it. So here it is. Take it away, Ben. So yesterday I finished putting the bottom in together. I torqued everything. Um, went ahead and put the oil pan on it and painted the bottom of it while I had it flipped over and international gray. It looks good too. I mean, he done a pretty good job painting it. Granted, it's light right here because I painted it when it was upside down right we're going to so do the when i get the heads on it's most stuff that i'm going to paint the top of with a coat so with that being said um this morning i come in here um, we have installed most of the head studs i had to leave a couple of them out um, and for us with especially wanting to boost it with turbo uh, a couple important things is head studs are extremely important with these engines um here it is right here these are a 21 to 1 compression ratio engine from the factory and that's just the way they are. Um, high compression. They're really not ever designed to have a turbo on them. So this is not the type of motor you're going to throw 30 pounds of boost at. Although, Justin has. But for reliability purposes, I'm not going to. We're thinking 15, maybe 18. I doubt we'll ever see over 20. Um, it just depends on how things go. The next thing is, is um, using a high quality Felpro head gasket. Um, that's definitely recommended. Um, but head studs, Felpro, and you know these right here are ARP head studs. So they're a chromoly head stud. And um, the directions read that uh, you put these in hand tight. I know I was using Allen wrench, but I was not putting any torque on them. I was just threading them in. Um, they are 7 16th diameter because this is a 6 9. The 7 3s had a half inch diameter. So I actually, it recommends to torque these to 80 foot-pounds. Um, several people are doing 100 foot-pounds on these ones. And on the uh, 7.3 ones, they'll torque them to 150. And that'll kind of help keep the heads where they belong. But other than that, this morning I come in here and I got my little Motion Pro $15 uh, cam to green wheels that uh, I got off Amazon. And I made it, I took a bolt and put a nut on it and drilled the center of a bolt out this morning to put a, a small bolt in. That way I could mount my cam to green wheel to my bolt. And then I took a piece of what was left of some 3 16 plate from where we Z cut the frame of the International. And I actually threaded the center of it for a stop, a piston stop. So I bolted it all on there and I've already, I've already done the piston stop and set it at the top bit center. But I had these all tightened down. I had run it up, and there's a, several good videos. I'm not going to go through cam to green, but if you know what I'm talking about, you have to make a piston stop to get your actual top dead center because of the float at the top where the crank is still turning and the piston hasn't started back down yet. So I made that piece. So what I haven't done, I haven't started into the actual cam to green yet. I've just got myself a top dead center, and I was getting ready to go into that. But this is a turbo cam that I got from Justin at R&D. Um, so I'm going to check it. He sent me the specs for where I should see the right amount of lift at what degree on the crankshaft. So once I check that, we'll know the cam's in the right spot, and then it'll be time to start putting the heads on. So the International Project is moving along. Sadly enough, I'm going to get this motor built. We'll get it on a skid. Um, I'll get to where I start working on connecting the transmission to it. But we will probably not do the drivetrain swap until this winter. 
because once this is prepared and sitting on the skid, we're going to back up and punt and start working on the, um, the suspension on the truck. Start trying to get the uh, control arms on the front and the rear axle swapped and um, everything set up that way. So that way when the, we go to transplant the motor, the suspension's already done. And when we get the truck lower to the ground, it actually makes it easier to work on sometimes. So, but yeah, that's what we're doing with the International today. Yep, that's the update so far. Uh, probably get a little bit more done on it later this week. But like I said, we're going to move on to the GL1000 project because Ben's going to help me out making some parts on it. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or just feel free to tell us what you think, leave us a comment in the section below. Thanks, guys.